<clears throat> okay, getting my screen set up here. Okay, hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class, yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. There you are, Lolly. Thank you so much. Lolly has a big yes. So that means you can see me and hear me because Lolly says yes. And so if Lolly says yes, that means everything is a-okay. So I'm really happy about that and it's really good to see you lolly yay thank you lolly sleepwalker hello sleepwalker tomas hello tomas miley's here yay tetsuro is here hello tetsuro good to see the green team in the house yes 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 it is strong and i am happy all right mitra hello mitra is here helga hello helga ella hello ella all right all right well it's good to see you. Um, it's always good. Sleepwalker. Yeah, Sleepwalker's in the house. Yay. Okay, okay. Tran is here. Hello, Tran. Well, Ella. All right. Maybe I said Ella already. <laughs> okay. Well, um, like I always say, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you for being here with me. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, I do. Well, let me... Well, da, da, da. okay, well, we always have a toast for good luck, so let's do that. We always start with a toast for good luck. So please pick up your beverage, whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our first toast. We're going to have, Marion's here. Hello, Marion. We're going to have two toasts. The first toast is to the green team, yes, the, the supporters. Maya, Maya's here, yes, so the green team. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So our first toast is to the green team. Cheers, green team. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. All right, Ava, hello, Ava. Mary, hello. Well, because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Woo, it's hot. It's fresh coffee right out of the pot. So it's super, super hot. Okay, our second toast is for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, nope, no. Nope. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Bump, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah, oh, hot coffee. Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, I'm really happy you everyone's here because um, we are going to be here for two hours. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are ready. I hope you are feeling good. And I hope you are ready to practice with me and, of course, in the chat right that's where the real learning is happening in the chat so um like i said we will be here for two hours and we have many many things to do and here is the lesson plan so let's talk about the lesson plan first let's let me tell you about today's lesson plan we're going to do form a sentence i have four cards and these four with these four cards i want you to make sentences then we will do answer the question i'm going to give you a um, well i'm going to give you a question and you answer that question then we'll do which is more so you're going to compare two things and tell me about that how tell me about the comparison then we will do dictation cards then we will do Lolly's Revenge. So we are busy, busy, busy. We have uh, many things to do. Fun activities, activities for you to practice your English and um, really to be creative. Think, think for yourself. Um, 
use your imagination to make sentences. So that's what we mostly do is uh, be creative and to um, practice English. Yeah, so we want to be creative while we are practicing English. So let's do that. Yeah, let's go. Yes, let's do it. So uh, form a sentence. Yeah, our first activity is form a sentence. Form a sentence. And I'm going to show you four cards. So we need spaces for four cards. So I'm going to write the four spaces. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four spaces. And I need to get four magnets. And they're right over here. One, two, three, four. And of course, they are colorful, colorful magnets. And we have a pink one right here, pink. And we have a red one, red, red, red. And we have a green one. We could call this maybe emerald green. And we have a purple one, purple, purple. Okay, so we have four magnets, yeah, and we have four cards. So what we're going to do is I'm going to um, present one card at a time, okay? And from the card, I want you to make a sentence, yeah? And then each, so I'm going to present one card, and you, you use that card to make a sentence. Then I will present a second card, so then use those two cards to make a sentence. Then I will present a third card, so with the three cards, make one sentence, and then I will present you a fourth card, and I want you to make a sentence using all four. Okay, so that is form a sentence, create, make. Okay, now I'm going to show you a picture, and the picture represents, I try, sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not, but let's, let me try. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture, and what do you think this picture represents, right? What, what, what uh, grammar or what phrase or um, how we're going to start the sentence, right? This card is starting the sentence, and I hope this picture represents what I want it to. It's sometimes it's hard, it's hard, but let's let's treasure magnets, says Helga. Okay, here we got a picture right here. What does this picture represent? What does this picture represent? So this is gonna start off the sentence. Yeah, we're starting off the sentence. So what does this represent? Okay, Helga says look for to discover okay yes <laughs> yes it's not exactly what i investigate okay these are all curiosity research detection these are all great answers to look for to discover curiosity research direction yes look for i'm looking for Invention, invention, something, look for, investigate. Okay, so those are all what I had in mind, right? So this is what, this is how one, this is how I want us to start. Yeah, it's a magnifying glass, Manome, magnifying glass, yeah. So a magnifying glass makes things look bigger, right? Inquire into, yes. So that's, okay. So Maya says, should we guess a verb or a noun? And actually it's, um, what is it? It's a, um, it's neither. It's not a verb or a noun. Well, it, it, there's a, a um, there's a B verb. There's a B verb. Um, it's escaping me, but this is, there you go. There we go. So I want us to start with there are, okay? So last week we did there is, today we're doing there are. There are, okay? So that's the start. It's hard, 
it's hard have, finding a picture to represent like a phrase, right? So our first is there are. Yeah, so, so sorry. Hey, Sewu, how you doing? Mwah. Sewu's here. There are. Yeah, so there are. So remember, it exists, right? Something exists. Something is there. So, um, right? He is looking at something, right? It exists. So last week we did there is, but today we are doing there are. So there are. Okay, we have, there are some clues. Good, Tetsuro. Uh, Suhali says, there are many thieves. Oh, no, oh, no, there are many thieves. No, that's not good. Okay, Helga says, there are many students here now. Great, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, there is a phrase, yes. That's right, Menome, we are going to make a... There, there. Well, okay. Wait, wait. No, 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 Manome. We need plural noun. Okay. So there are phrases. Okay, Manome. There are phrases. So there is. That is is for singular. One thing. Are is for plural. Right. So there are. There are. Okay. Okay. Um. Roat, there are cups, okay? So we need plural, right? R, when we use R, that is plural, more than one. So, so you should say, there are cups on the table. There are no doubts, says <laughs> Sleepwalker. Oh, Tomas says, there are some strange things on the table. Oh, boy. Good sentence, Tomas. Lolly, there are many people in the chat. Yes, that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, Yetin says, there are some footprints. Oh, whose footprints are there? Hey, Candy, Candy joined the green team. Yes. Mwah. Candy, welcome to the green team. Yay, Candy, Candy, welcome. Candy is part of our green team now. Woohoo, Candy, thank you so much for your kind support and welcome to the team. Yes, welcome, Candy. Yay, Candy is a green member now. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Candy. Mwah, big kiss. Okay, Umesh says, there are tigers in the zoo. Okay, I'm gonna, Candy gets up on the board because she just became a member today. So, Candy, welcome. Welcome to the green team. Yes, Candy, fantastic, fantastic. Ava says, there are a lot of mushrooms. Okay, I like mushrooms. I, I actually, I like mushrooms very much. Tomas. There are fingerprints on the glass. Ooh. Okay, Manome. There are many things on the table. Very good. Okay. Very good, everyone. Ah, Candy, your name is green. Do you see that? You are now part of the green team, Candy. Yes. Hello, hello. Do you see your name in green now? Fantastic. Mwah. Happy to see that. Congratulations, Candy, for, for joining the team, getting your name in green. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> okay, let's, oh, Ava, there, okay. Now, money is uncountable, okay? So for uncountable, we don't use R, right? So um, money, there's no plural, there's no S. So we can't use R, Ava, okay? So that doesn't work. We could say coins, right? You could use coins, you know, that we could, you know, that's money. So you could say, um, there are a lot of coins. There are a lot of coins, that works. Okay, um, Ava, mess is uncountable too. So. That doesn't work either. So you would say, there is a big mess. Oh no, 
there is a big mess in the kitchen, right? But today we're using R, so we can't use that. Okay, so let's go, let's continue our, our sentence here. So we have, there are, and actually, you've already started doing it, right? So our next card, what is our next card? Oh, sleepwalker, there are mosquitoes in summer, yes. I don't like mosquitoes. Um, but Kumar, there are three books behind Mark, yes. Right here, one, two, three, yes, that is true. Shams, good morning. Oh, don't worry, Ava. Um, Halimo says, there are many cats in the garden. Yeah, Ava, so there is a big mess, yeah. So, But today we are practicing R. So actually, we've already started doing this, yeah, so plural noun. So you've already started doing that, right? So. Right, so with there are, we need to use plural nouns, right? So you could say, there are shirts, you know, there are dirty shirts in the wash, right? So there are dirty shirts, right? So here we have plural, so you, you have already started doing that. So let's, let's go to our third card, and now you have to, okay, here's, a, <laughs> how, how do I explain? Okay, I'm going to show you the card. What do you think the picture represents? Okay, I'm curious. Yeah, good, Miley. There are folded shirts. Yes, these are very good, Miley. I want you, that, that's good. I'm happy you said folded, right? So, so we say fold, right? When, when, when you have your shirt, right, and it, let's say you take it out of the dryer, right? You wash your shirt you put it in the dryer, you take it out, and we fold it, right? So it's neat. There's no wrinkles, right? When you fold it, then there won't be wrinkles. So um, these shirts are folded. So great, Miley, thank you for saying that. It reminded me. So there are folded shirts. Yes, good, there are folded shirts. Okay, now for our Card number three, our third card, please. What do you think this represents, this picture? What does this picture represent? Okay, English grammar and spoken learning. There are three dirty shirts hanging with the whiteboard, hanging on the whiteboard. There are three dirty shirts hanging on the whiteboard. So here we put on, we say on, on the whiteboard. I'm doing good, Mishari. How are you doing, Mishari? Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. There are a lot of t-shirts on the table, good. There are four Z shirts, t-shirts, t-shirts. Okay, Helga says put in, carry, put, give. Yeah, oh, Ava, give, very good. Yeah, everyone's, okay, people are saying give. Right, right. So, th that is correct, but there's a preposition. I'm looking for a preposition, okay? What is the preposition? So it, it kind of means give. What, what preposition means give? So I'm looking for a preposition meaning give. Not to, to, I mean, okay, that, okay, I'm looking for in, I'm not looking for, no, I'm looking for a different preposition. Not into, not to, no, out, no. Perhaps the hand is dropping something on the other. Um, yes, but I'm looking for the preposition to represent that. No, no. I haven't seen it yet. No, no, Mary. 
No man o me. No. No lolly. <laughs> Dura. Rich man, poor man. No. Not. No. Ava. No. Bablu. No. Come on. I'm, I haven't seen it yet. Come on. I'm looking for the preposition. No. No Tetsuro. Okay. Clueless. Okay. No Tetsuro. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Four. Four. Okay. So now I want you to use four. Okay. So there are plural noun four. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you the fourth. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. The, let's just do the four cards, so then you can just go ahead and make a sentence. Okay, and here we go. What, what does this represent? What does this represent? This is card four. Okay, group, people. Yes, Manome, good. Good, Ava, yes. Humans, good. Many, yes. Crowd, good. Men, people, society, crowd, community. Oh, look at all these great words, all this great vocabulary. See, the chat is team, people. So, like I always say, the chat, there's lots of good learning in the chat. Class. Persons. Good, good. Okay, yeah, so what I'm saying, subject. Okay, so basically the pattern, right? So we have, there are plural noun for subject. The subject. So, so the subject, who is receiving, right? Who is receiving? So there are plural noun for subject. So I want you to make sentences with this pattern. There are plus plural noun plus four plus subject. So that is the that is the pattern. <laughs> That's right, Miley. Okay. I don't like folding shirts. I don't like ironing shirts, as you can see. So I will, I will pay you for that service. I will pay you for that service. Okay. Tomas has his sentence. There are some t-shirts for them. Yeah, good, 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 Tomas. Very good. Lolly says, there are some shirts for you, Mark. Thank you very much. There are some clothes for the poor. Okay, Helga, there are some clothes for the poor. So we need the poor. Okay, Mitra, there are many dirty shirts. I'm going to do laundry for my mother. Okay, so Mitra, I'm going to do, I'm going to do laundry. I'm going to do laundry. Okay, Uma says, there are kites for flying. <laughs> Very good. Yes, yes. Um, Hong, there are foods for homeless. Okay, okay. Food is uncountable. Okay, so we can say meals. There are meals for the homeless. Yeah, okay. So, Food is uncountable, so if we, to use plural noun, we can use meals, right? So there are meals, okay, so now we, there are meals, right? There are meals for the poor. So the poor mean like a, the category, right? Poor people, right? So the rich, the poor. So so we kind of, we, we can use that as a category. Like, oh, they are the rich, right? They are the poor, they are the rich. So we can use categories for that. So there are meals for the poor. 
Okay. My lady, there are $20. Well, okay. Uh, that, that doesn't really work. Um, yeah, that doesn't really work, Miley. Ava, there are, okay, there, okay. Now, Ava, what you did there, you put ah with a plural, okay? So with plural, there's no a, okay? Ah and n is for singular, okay? One, Ava. So we don't want the ah uh, there. So there are new books for for the English course, okay? Yep, that works, but we don't want ah. Uh. There are new books for the English course, the English course. Okay, Mitra, I'm going to do laundry for my mother. Very good, Mitra, you fixed your sentence. Fantastic, yes, food, food is uncountable, good. But meals, we can count meals, right? Okay, Umesh, there are doctors for people. Yeah, yeah, there are doctors for people. Very good, I like it, I like it. Manome, there are many toys for your children. Yes, 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 good. Uh, Jay Shri, there are toys for homeless children. Yes, Sebu, there are teacher, there are t-shirts for donation. Yes, yes, yes. Great sentences, everyone. I like it. You guys are very kind people. Yes. Look at these awesome, kind sentences. Yes. Shuke. Uh, there are some pictures. Yes. NGA. There are some medicines for him to take. Yes. Helga. There are some invitations for the party. Yes. Okay, English grammar. There are some dirty t-shirts which I am coming to give you right now. No, thank you. <laughs> Miley, give them to Miley. She she does she'll she'll wash and fold for $20. So um, English grammar, please give those to Miley. <laughs> don't give them to me. I don't want your dirty shirts. <laughs> there okay, money hung is uncountable. Okay, so we can't use R for money, okay? We can't use R for money. Um, there are, okay, Dua says, there are enough t-shirts for the football team. That's good. Uh, Funda says, there are books for me to read. Okay, okay, good. Okay, Funda, there are books for me to read. One more time. There are books for me to read. So please fix your sentence. Tetsuro. There are some bills for exchanging. Okay, that works. Yep, money, bills. Bills are countable. That works, Umesh. Yes, yes. No, no, that was not Umesh. That was Tetsuro. Sorry. That works, Tetsuro. Bills works for money. Yes, Umesh. There are two tests. Test tunes for... Uh, I'm not sure, Umesh. I don't know about your sentence. I don't understand. Helga, there are some balloons for the kids. Very good, Helga. Sleepwalker. There are parks for people. Yes, Miriam. There are jewel, jewel, jewels, jewels for grinding diamonds. Oh, jewelers, jewelers. Sorry, sorry. Yes, Marion. There are jewelers for grinding diamonds. Yes, yes, or polishing diamonds. Uh, Mary says there are some beautiful flowers from Mark. Oh, thank you so much, Mary. Ava, there are new books for the English course. The English course, Ava. The English course. Umesh, there are guns for shooting. Okay, be careful. Be careful when you're shooting guns. There are 10 fingers which impress me so much. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to have 10 fingers. I, I like having 10 fingers. There are many cars in the garage. Yes, Ava. There are books for... Uh, or. Actually, Sleepwalker, there are books in the li library. There are books in the library. There are books in the library. Oh, thank you, Mano May. Thank you so much. I appreciate your kind support, Mano May. Okay, there are some flowers for you. Thank you very much. Okay, Hong, there are many plans for marketing project. There are many plans for the marketing project. Okay, that works, but we need the. 
there are many plans for the marketing project. Miley, there are folded shirts for the homeless. Here is our help. Oh, Miley, very good. Yes, because I think if people are wearing clean clothes, nice clothes, they feel better, right? Um, you see homeless people and, you know, of course, they're, they're, their clothes are old and dirty. So if you're wearing old and dirty clothes, maybe you, you, don't feel, you don't feel very good, right? Maybe you don't want to go and look for a job, right? You feel embarrassed. You feel bad because you have old, dirty clothes. But if you give nice clothes to the homeless, then maybe they feel a little proud, feel a little good, and maybe they'll look for a job, yeah? So I think giving clothes to the homeless is a, a good way to support them. Yes, Ava, the English course. Very good. Okay, there are some sandwiches for me. <laughs> okay, I like sandwiches. I had a sandwich today for lunch. I always have sandwiches for lunch. Maya, there are four pictures on the whiteboard for us to guess words. Yes, Maya. <laughs> you always guess correctly, don't you? Hey, Marcos. Marcos is here. Good to see Marcos. Mwah. Good to see Marcos. There are emojis for the chat. Yes, Sleepwalker. Go ahead and use your emojis. Use the green team's emojis. Ah, <laughs> Lolly. There are some kibbles for Miss Peanut. Yeah, uh, kibbles. We, I don't know. Like, uh, Miss Peanut doesn't eat kibbles, but an another type of cat food. I forgot the name. <laughs> Candy, there are good friends in the class. Yay, Candy, very good, very good. Okay, well done. Let's change, okay, I'm looking at the clock. It's time to um, change activities. We have many things to do. You guys did good, good job, everyone. So let's do our next activity, which is answer the question, okay? So I'm gonna give you a question, and I want you to give me the answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. So our next activity, answer the question. Okay, answer the question, please. And here we go, question number one. And so let me get the magnet. So maybe we'll do two questions. So let me grab two magnets. Okay, so we have one and two. Let's do two questions. Okay, here we go. We're going to do two questions, and question number one, are you ready for, yes, answer the questions. Here we go. Question number one, what are you doing today? What are you doing today? <laughs> if, if it's night for you, maybe tomorrow, okay? So let's pretend it's in the morning. Let's, let's pretend it's morning for everyone, okay? So Let's pretend it's morning for everyone, okay? So what are you doing today? I know some people, it's nighttime, so your day is finished. Some, maybe for some people, it's the afternoon. But let's say, for, just for practice, it's morning for everyone. So the question is, what are you doing today? What are you doing today? Okay, so, Alisa, where have you been? <laughs> Alisa, welcome back. Mwah. Where have you been? You've been away for a long time. Welcome back, Alisa. Welcome back. Good to see you. Oh, we have someone's birthday. Oh! Rossi, happy birthday, Rossi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rossi Kitamura. Happy birthday to you. Yay. It's Rossi's birthday. So, Rossi, what are you going to do today? What are you going to do today? Lolly says, I am, okay. I am going to 
learn English. So maybe we should use going to, okay? So everyone, in your sentence, please use going to. What are you doing today? And then you're going to go, I'm going to, okay? So let's use that pattern. I'm going to. Okay, so I want to see, I'm going to. Okay, what are you doing today? What are you doing today? Okay, Tomas says, today I'm going to have lunch at around 12. Okay, Tomas, at around 12. At around 12. Um, Kumar, I'm traveling this time. Well, where are you traveling to? What, what are you doing today? What are you doing today? Oh, hey, Maria, how you doing? Maria's in the house. Mwah. Maria says, today I am relaxing. Lucky you. Oh, okay, so... Um, Moa said, I want to go to my parents. Okay, Maitra. After this class, I'm going to cook lunch. And in the afternoon, I'm going shopping. Okay, Maitra, here we go. After this class, I'm going to cook lunch. And in the afternoon, in the afternoon, I'm going shopping. Oh, 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 I missed it. Okay, Farah says, I'm going to read a book. Umesh, I'm going outside. Mac says, I'm going to go camping. Mary, I'm going to cook for my family today. Miley, oh, I arrived in Tuscany. I'm going to remove cobwebs. Oh, so that's right. So Miley has a, a place in Tuscany, so she has to... She hasn't been there for a while, so she's got to like clean, clean it up. Lucky you, Miley. You're in Tuscany. Lucky you. Seiru, I'm enjoying the last day of summer holiday. That's right. You've. That's right. Seiru has been on her summer holiday. So, but soon it's going to finish, and soon Seiru will have to be back at work. Oh, that's sad, Seiru. Right? That's always sad. Have, it's sad to go back to work after a holiday, for sure. I'm going to the market, Fonda says. Sleepwalker, I'm going to the shop. Halimo says, I am cleaning my room today. All right. Tetsuro, I'm going to the mall today. Tetsuro says, um, Fonda, I'm going to Rossi's birthday party. Rossi's having a birthday party. I want to go to Marcos. I'm going to work, and after I'll go shopping for some groceries. I'll go shopping for some groceries. Uh, Tong says, I am checking my email. Ava, I am sitting and watching Mark's live stream. Thank you for doing that, Ava. Uh, Sharifa says, I am eating breakfast. Omar, what are you doing today? Today, I am having a live stream class. That's what I'm doing today. Marion, today I'm going to fix my car. Oh, you turn, I'm, I'm playing tennis at 5 p.m. Oh, I want to play too. I want to play too. Helga, I'm waiting for the milkman today. He brings dairy on Tuesdays. <laughs> you have, you still have milkmen. Wow, those... Those days are gone here in Japan and in America too. They, those, those are jobs that don't exist anymore. Okay, Manome, I am going, I'm going to play with my kids. Okay, Manome, I am going to play with my kids. So we don't need playing, I'm going to play. I am going to learn English. Good, Halimo. Okay, good, everyone. Okay. Candy, I'm, I'm going to cook dinner. Okay, what are you going to cook, Candy? What are you going to cook? Tetsuro, I'm going to... Okay, I am going to the grocery store, says Tetsuro. Okay, great, great. 
Uh, Eva, I am drinking green tea. Great. Okay, let's... Great, great answers, everyone. Okay, let's go with number two, shall we? Let's go question number two. Here we go, question number two. Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't see Lolly's sentence. Ah, I got to go back. I missed it. There it is. I see Lolly's sentence now. Lolly says, today I am going to clean up my bedroom. It's, it's, it's a real mess. Okay, so, okay, clean up your bedroom, Lolly. And we, we don't say really mess. We say, it's a real mess. Or you can say, it's really messy. Okay, but if you're going to have mess, then you, you would have to say it's a real mess. That, that's actually better. So just change really to real, R-E-A-L. So I, today I'm going to clean up my bedroom. It's a real mess. I think you should do that. I think you should clean up your room. <laughs> Sorry, I, everybody, I, 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 Sometimes I miss your sentences, so excuse me for that. Oh, okay. Helga's going to, um, I'm learning English today. Then I'm meeting with my friends on Zoom. Good, good. By Zoom. Good, good. Okay, here we go. Question number two. Question number two. Here we go. Question number two. What pictures did you take? What pictures did you take? Okay, good. Thank you, Sleepwalker. Yeah, I, I, my eyes are going, and sometimes the chat goes fast. I don't see everyone's sentences, so excuse me for that. All right, so question number two. What pictures did you take? Yeah, good, Lolly. It's a real mess. That, that's, that's a good phrase. That's a good phrase. What pictures did you take? What pictures did you take? What pictures did you take? Okay, Sleepwalker, I want more information. I took my favorite pictures. That doesn't tell me anything. Okay, Sleepwalker, I need details, please. I need more information. Helga says, I took some pictures of my cat. Very good. Uh, Jay Shreesh, thank you. Okay, Alisa says, I took pictures of my dog running around the garden. Good. Umesh, I took pictures of birds flying. Very good, Umesh. I took some pictures with my family. Good. Talking about birds, here's a funny story. I, I was walking to my office today after lunch. So I was here. I went home for lunch. I came back. And when I was walking back here to my office, there was a pigeon, a bird, just sitting there. And usually when you walk by, they fly away. But this one did not fly away. It was just, it was just standing, or it was, it, it was just on this like um, this box. And I got very close to the pigeon, and it just like didn't move. And it was strange. Usually they fly away. But this pigeon did not fly away. So it was, it was nice getting very close to the bird and looking at the birds. So maybe for like three minutes, I was just watching the bird up close. And so that was, that was fun. What pictures did you take? Ava, I took some pictures of my family. Tomas, I took some pictures of flowers. So, so Tomas, about flowers, we don't say that. Just, I took some pictures of flowers. Sleepwalker, I took, I took a, oh, I missed it. Okay, Sleepwalker, I took a picture of a beautiful view. Nice. Marcos, I took pictures of birds in the park. Good, yeah. So I saw a bird up close today. That was, that was neat. I enjoyed that. At least I took pictures of people's facial expressions. <laughs> okay. Jerish, I took pictures of my family. I took pictures of my family. Miley, I took pictures of the broken gutter to show it to the neighbor. Oh, that's a good idea. Evidence. That's right. So it's always good if you have a picture and they say a picture says a thousand words. A picture 
says a thousand words. Yeah, ah, Lolly. I like it, Lolly. Mark takes pictures of the whiteboard after every lesson. That is true. That's what I take pictures of. Yeah. Hey, Fran. Hello, Fran. Mwah. I took pictures of a boat on the lake. Oh, nice picture. I love lakes. Okay, Marfa. I took a picture with my friends on the beach. Oh, you went to the beach. Nice. Seiru, I took my selfie. So, Seiru, are you a selfie taker? Are you a selfie taker? Okay, Mitra, I took pictures of some beautiful flowers. Mary Poppins, I took some pictures of my family. Oh, Dua says, I took some pictures of my amazing city. Fantastic. Yes, Tomas, of flowers. Good, good, good. Okay, Jury says, I took pictures of real flowers. Not fake flowers, not plastic flowers, but real flowers. Uh-oh, at least I took a photo of the man who robbed my bag. Oh, you got a picture. That's good. You got a picture of the thief. So now you can go to the police, show the police, hey, this person took my bag. I have evidence. And then the police have a picture and they can find the, the thief and get your bag back. So that is good. You got a picture of the thief. Okay, good, good. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Ha, <laughs> Jerish, I took pictures of myself. Selfie, yes. Okay, good, good. Candy, I took pictures of my garden flowers. Or, okay, Candy, I took pictures of the flowers in my garden. Okay, Candy, here we go, one more time. I took pictures of the flowers in my garden. Or, I took pictures of flowers in my garden. Flowers in my garden. Okay, good, good, everyone. I secretly took a photo of my husband <gasps> with another woman. Alisa, are you okay? Oh, I hate to hear that. That is... That's bad news. So, um, Alisa, I took, I secretly took a photo of my husband with another woman. Okay, so with another woman, with another woman. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Cheating is not good. Don't be a cheater. Okay. We did it. Formed a sentence, answered a question. Now, let's keep going. Yeah, let's change topics. Let's do which is more, which is more, okay? So here we go, which, our next activity. Okay, which is more, or actually, not more. What is the difference between? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 That's okay. We're gonna, I'm going to, okay. Actually, it's, the pattern is, what is the difference? Sorry, sorry. Which is more? Not that. Wrong, wrong pattern. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. What is the difference between? Yeah, okay, what's, what's the difference between, okay? So I want you to compare and contrast. So, so what's the difference between these two things, okay? So in the chat, please tell me which is the difference between what's the difference between okay so our card number one what is the difference between cards and dice what is the difference between cards and dice what is the difference between cards and dice 
What is the difference between cards and dice? Okay, I need a couple of magnets here. Okay, what is the difference between cards and dice? Oh, Lolly. Dice are cubes. Good. Yes. Okay, Umesh, cards are made from paper. Very good. You guys doing very well. Sleepwalker, the dice we have to roll to get the numbers. Yeah, okay, so Sleepwalker, dice are used to roll to get numbers. Dice are rolled to get numbers. Do what? Cards are made from? Cards are from? Paper, paper, paper. Do what? Okay, Tomas says, um, we use only three dice, but more cards. Okay, good, yeah. Or we could say we use more cards than dice. We use more cards than dice. Good, good, Tomas. Helga, cards are flat and dice are cubic. Good, all right. See, you guys have so many answers. Gosh, I can't think of all this myself. Max says, um, dice... Dice have numbers, but cards even have some marks too. Oh, 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 okay, Max. Dice only have numbers, but cards have um, pictures and numbers. Yeah, great. See, you guys are you guys are just very, very clever, very clever. Looking at all the different ways. You're looking at how all the differences between them, right? So. We're looking at the differences, and you guys are, are thinking of many differences, so that's fantastic. Miley, um, with dice, you win with luck more than with skill. Good, good, good. Yeah, cards cards have a little more skill. That's right, for sure. Tetsuro, um, cards have 12 numbers, but dice has six. Good. Great. Candy, I took pictures of flowers in my garden. Good, good, Candy. Thank you for fixing your sentence. Oh, Umesh, cards are rectangular. Very good. Maria, okay, let's see. Sleepwalker, um, dice are rolled to get numbers. Good. Mary, cards are made from paper. Dice are from bones. Asma, cards, cards are made of paper. Dice are made of plastic. Marcos, cards are made of paper and dice are plastic things. Okay, Alisa, both are for gambling. However, cards are made of paper while dice are made of plastic. Cards are made of figures while dice have dots which indicate a number. Well, see, that is Alisa. Gosh, so everyone, we please, let's, let's all learn together in the chat. Let's Let's study together in the chat. Yeah. Tomas, cards, cards are flat. Dice are cubic shaped. Okay, so, okay, flat shaped. We don't use, flat is not a shape, not really. So it's better to say cards are flat and, cube, and, and dice are cubic. Oh, dice don't have colors. Dice don't have colors. Good, Lolly. Manome, uh, we, see, we see dice, but we can't see cards of another member. Oh, Manome, very good. That's right. Cards are, the numbers are hidden. Where dice, we see the numbers. Very good. You guys, wow. Look at all these clever, great answers. Fantastic. The method of playing each of them is different. Yes. Now, I had no idea we can think of so many differences, yeah? You guys, mwah, look how many differences there are. You guys are just coming up with all kinds of differences. 
Uh, Tomas, on the dice, um, okay, on the dice, there are dots. On the cards, there are numbers and pictures. Good, Tomas. On the dice, there are dots. And on the cards, there are numbers and pictures. Very good. Friend, it is not possible to ripe a uh, dive. I don't know. <laughs> friend, one more time, friend. One more time, please. Alice, the dice are square and the cards are paper. Mm. Okay, so what you did, Alice, you, you, you didn't, you weren't, you didn't use like parallel construction. You, you used shape and then material. So we want to keep the, the topic the same. So you want to take shape, shape or material, material. Okay, we want to keep like the same, um, kind of the same structure, right? Or the same, if, if you're talking about one with, with material, you have to include the other with material, right? So if the first item you mention material, then you have to use the second one with material. If you use the first one, like rules, you have to use the second one with rules, right? So they have to have the same, you have to be talking about the same um, idea, okay? The same idea. Okay, Jerry Shi. Cards are made from paper and dice are made from plastic. Good. Okay, Seiru. Cards. It can be used for gambling. Yeah, actually both are used for gambling, Seiru. Umesh. Cards are colorful and dice are not. Very good. Maria. The dice have dots and the cards have letters. Miley. The dice reach a total of up to 12 points. Tomas, cards are flat and dice are cubic. Good. Sleepwalker, with cards you can cheat. <laughs> Actually, we for cheating dice, they say loaded. So there are dice that are loaded, loaded dice. That means they're the, 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 the weight is a little different. If you saw, there's a movie called Ocean's Eleven. Brad Pitt and um, a bunch of like, oh, who? And they, they go into a Las Vegas casino and cheat the casino. And they have loaded dice. So in, in the dice, they, they, the little weight, so it's always going to land on a certain number. So you can cheat with dice. They're called loaded dice. Maya, um, have you ever been to Vegas? Yes. The picture with the cards remind me of the, the city. Yes, I have been to Vegas a few times. I like Las Vegas. It's fun. I haven't been there for a long time. I haven't been there for a long time. But I have been there. The last time I was there probably was 15 years ago or longer. <laughs> I haven't been for a long time. Lucy's here. Hey, Lucy. Welcome, welcome, Lucy. Okay. Let's see. Alice, uh, Alisa says, cards are drawn or lane while dice are rolled. Gosh. See? There are, you guys, so much here, so, so many differences. You guys, oh, okay, die. Good question. Okay, Mary Poppins has a good question. Okay, singular, okay, cards, card, cards, die, dice. Okay, I'm going to write that. Okay, good, good question, Mary. So, for... Okay, cards, right? Of course, we have card, cards, die, dice. Okay, so for one card, it's, you know, one card, two cards. I think in, in a deck, there are 52 cards, right? 52 cards in a pack, in a deck of cards. In a deck of cards, there are 52 cards. And um, 
Usually in Las Vegas, we play with um, two dice, but some games you play with one die. So one die, two dice. Good question. Okay, good, good. Yeah, Helga. Thank you, Helga, for writing that in the chat. Right? So die, dice. Die, dice. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm looking at the clock, and actually, I think we need to change activities again. Well, you guys, like, I, I'm still blown away. I am blown away. I am flabbergasted that how many differences you guys named. Wow, so many differences. Um, I am blown away. <laughs> I'm blown like the wind, right? So, so you know, like the wind can blow paper away, right? So, so here's piece of, here's a sheet of paper, and a wind, a gust of wind comes up, and it blows the paper away. Well, your how many differences you found? It blew me away. It blew me away. So, um, good job, everyone. Yeah, Jersey. So we have. Card, cards, die, dice. So good job. Okay, nicely done, everyone. I'm looking at the clock. It is time for dictation cards. Yay! <laughs> dictation cards. So you need a pencil and you need paper, all right? Because, yeah, a gust of wind. <laughs> That's right, Ted. So I was blown away like, like paper in a gust of wind. Ah, uh, okay. Game of chance. That's right. So we say gambling is a game of chance. That's right, Lolly. That's right. It's a game of chance. Okay, so let's do our dictation cards. And today's topic is forget and leave. Forget and leave. Okay, so um, where am I going to? Actually, I, I want to write more on the board. So I'm going to take a picture of the board and erase this. And then we will do dictation. So let me get my phone. Okay, so you need you need your pencil and paper. Okay, and I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. So I got my camera open. I'm going to step over here. You can't see me but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture. All right, here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got a picture. So now I'm going to erase the whiteboard. And I always take a picture of the whiteboard, like Lolly said, and then I upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So that way you can check it out anytime you want to. So let me take these off. And then I'm going to erase the board. And then we're going to do our dictation cards. Okay. There we go. Another magnet. We don't need the magnets. Ah! Went on the floor. That's okay. All right. So I'm erasing the board. That's okay. I took a picture. So you can always go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, and um, check it out. The link is in the descriptions below for the link to my Facebook group page if you want to join. Okay, so we are going to do dictation and our topic forget and leave. Okay, forget we say, well, it means fail to remember. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> Fail to remember, yeah, and then leave, and then leave, I'm going to write it here, um, go away from a place without taking something, go away from a place without taking 
something or someone. Okay, and that is leave. Okay, so forget, fail to remember, leave, go away from a place without taking something or someone. So that is our dictation cards, the topic. And so we have, Tomas, I have a biro and paper. Okay. I leave my keys. Okay, okay. I, okay, I leave my keys in the car, in my car. So that means you always do it. So you might want to say, Lolly, I left for a pass. Oh, you go, oh, I left my keys in my car. But if you always do it, then you would say, oh, I leave my keys in my car. That's like something you always do, Lolly. But if it's just you did it once, right? If it's something you don't always do, you say, oh, I left my keys in my car. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. Yeah, habitual. So if it's habitual, you would say, oh, I leave my keys in my car. So that's the, the, the um, simple present, right? I left my keys in my car. Yep. So that's like, oh, Lolly, where are your car? Or if I say, hey, Lolly, where are your keys? Oh, I left my keys in my car. Okay, I stopped. <laughs> oh, okay, now, Ava, you want to use the past. I left from my work. I left. Oh, thank you, Radu. <laughs> thank you, Radu, for Radu likes my shirt. Thank you. I left my bag in the store. Good, good. That's not good, but good sentence. Yes, Sleepwalker, thank you. Refrigerator. <laughs> Refrigerator. Okay, here we go. Uh, so far, by the way, So, so it's over now, Radu. The, the Olympics is over. So, yeah, the U.S. won a, yeah, the U.S. always does well in the Olympics. Big country. U.S. is a big country. Many people. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Ava, no problem. You know what I say about mistakes, right, Ava? No problem. That's how we learn. So please, Ava, please Please get that out of your head, thinking, you know, apologizing for mistakes. Please don't do that, Ava. Please do not apologize for making mistakes. Please do not do that. Okay, here we go. Oh, I forgot to put the steps. We got to check them off. Yeah, we always do that. So um, let's do it right here. So step one is dictation. And step two, shadowing. Step three, on your own. Step four, quiz. Okay, so I like, I like keeping it in order, right? We can see, we can, right? I like visuals. I like visuals. So let's do it. Here we go. Dictation. I will... Um, say each sentence three times. So please listen and write down what I say word for word. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Card number one. I forgot my sunglasses. They're at home. I forgot my sunglasses. They're at home. <laughs> That's one. No, Radu, they finished on Sunday. They finished a few days ago. Okay, and the third time. I forgot my sunglasses. They're at home. Actually, next, Radu, 
is the um, is the Paralympics. The Paralympics is next. I think that's coming. That's in two weeks or something. The Paralympics. Okay, here we go. Card number two. I forgot to pack my razor. <laughs> I forgot to pack my razor. I forgot to pack my razor. Helga. Razor. Okay, number three. Card number three. I left my report on the desk. I left my report on the desk. I left my report on the desk. Card number four. Did you leave the passports at home? <laughs> Did you leave the passports at home? Did you leave the passports at home? Number five. I forgot to set the a bur I forgot to set the burglar alarm. I forgot to set the burglar alarm. I forgot to set the burglar alarm. Okay, number six. Darn, I forgot my keys at work. Darn, I forgot my keys at work. <laughs> That's okay. If if there's if there's a word you didn't um, hear, that's okay because we're gonna do shadowing and I'm gonna show you the card. So don't worry if you didn't hear all the sentence, if you didn't hear all the words, don't worry about it. Just do your best because we are doing four steps. Okay, so don't worry if you didn't get a word or two words. Don't worry because we have we're gonna do it many times. So don't worry. Darn, I forgot my keys at work. Okay, here we go. Number seven. I left my umbrella on the bus. I left my umbrella on the bus. I left my umbrella on the bus. Okay, here we go. Number eight, last card. I left my bicycle out in the rain. I left my bicycle out in the rain. I left my bicycle out in the rain. Okay, that was dictation. Like I said, if you didn't get all of it, that's okay because we're gonna shadow and then, and then I'm gonna show you the card. You will see the sentence, you will see the picture. So don't worry if you didn't get it all the first time. Don't worry. Don't sweat it, no problem. Okay, now it's shadowing. So. Instead of writing, you're going to speak, yeah? So instead of writing, you will speak, okay? So this is shadowing is speaking practice, and so I want you to 
say these sentences at the same time as I am, right? So you're practicing two skills at the same time, listening and speaking at the same time, not repeating. Repeating is listening, stop, and then speaking. No, shadowing is at the same time, okay? So you're listening and speaking at the same time. So it's a little more difficult, but it's better practice, okay? So here we go, speaking, practice, shadowing, countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I forgot my sunglasses, they're at home. 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 I forgot to pack my razor. 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 Miley, what does this say, Miley? What is this, Miley? <laughs> I'm sure you miss your son, right? You miss your son. Okay, number three, here we go. I left my report on the desk. 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 Number four. Did you leave the passports at home? 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 Oh no! That is the worst to do. Don't don't leave your passport at home. Don't do that. <laughs> Number five. I forgot to set the burglar alarm. 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 <laughs> yeah, your son forgot his razor, right, Miley? Your son forgot his razor. <laughs> Number six. Darn, I forgot my keys at work. 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 Okay, here we go. Number seven. I left my umbrella on the bus. I left my umbrella on the bus. I left my umbrella on the bus. <laughs> That's right, Ava. I left my umbrella on the bus. I left my umbrella on the bus. Okay, oh, good question. Darn, what does that mean? That means like, um, that's explicit meaning like, like you're upset, like darn, like, ah, I can't believe it. Like, we, you, you could say damn, you could say darn, you could say oh no. So it means oh no, darn. Oh no, right? So it, it means, it just means that you're angry at yourself. You're angry at yourself, like darn. So I'm angry because I forgot the keys, right? So I'm angry at myself. So I say darn, darn. Okay, number eight. I left my bicycle out in the rain. I left my bicycle out in the rain. I left my bicycle out in the rain. Yes, Sleepwalker, good. Yes, thank you, interjection. Thank you, Elisa. I left my bicycle out in the rain.
it's an it's it's a um, interjection explicitative. Yeah, so um, darn is the 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 least offensive. So darn is the kindest. It's the it's the less like damn is a little that's strong. So darn is not so strong. Darn is not very strong. Yeah, that's right, Tomas. Yep. I'm not going to say that word because YouTube doesn't like those words, Tomas. So you can say it in the chat, but I'm not going to say it live. <laughs> so, but yep, Tomas, you are correct. That's what it means. Yeah, darn, yeah. So darn, tell your kids to use darn, right? So, so you could see what Tomas wrote, and that's for adults, yeah? But you would tell your children to say darn. <laughs> darn. Okay, so yeah, so that is, that is not a problem word, darn. Okay, good. All right, so that was shadowing. Good job, everybody. Let's check it off. All right. Now on your own, okay? So we're gonna do it again, but this time I'm gonna cover the card, all right? So you have to say the sentence by only looking at the sentence, okay? So, or no, only looking at the picture. You can't, you're not going to see the sentence. You're only gonna see the picture. So you have to say the sentence based on the picture. All right, so here we go. I will say it. I will see the sentence. When I say it, I will see the sentence. When you say it, you will not see the sentence. Okay, so here we go. On your own. I forgot my sunglasses. They're at home. Okay, now it's your turn. Say the sentence. I forgot my sunglasses. They're at home. Now it's your turn again. I forgot my sunglasses. They're at home. I forgot my sunglasses. They're at home. I forgot to pack my razor. Yeah, Sleepwalker, I forgot that. Okay, hold on, Sleepwalker. I forgot to pack my razor. I forgot to pack my razor. I forgot to pack my razor. That's right, Sleepwalker. You, I forgot that word to shoot. So you can say, darn, shoot, right? So those are... Those are innocent words. They are, um, yeah, not, not offensive. Not offensive. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Tomas. Yeah, it's not rude, right? So shoot, darn, dang, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, Alisa. You guys, see, you guys. So in the chat, I can't remember everything. You guys are doing great. Yep, so shoot, darn, dang it. Yep, yep, those are all um, non-offensive, non-offensive. Okay, here we go. I left my report on the desk. We could say, shoot. I left my report on the desk. Dang it, I left my report on the desk. Darn, I left my report on the desk. <laughs> Did you leave the passports at home?
Did you leave the passports at home? Did you leave the passports at home? Did you leave the passports at home? <laughs> Shoot! I forgot to set the burglar alarm. Darn! I forgot to set the burglar alarm. Dang it! I forgot to set the burglar alarm. I forgot to set the burglar alarm. Alisa, they, I don't know why they hid that shiitake mushrooms. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay, after we do this, there's a poll. I forgot to mention the poll. Okay, we'll, we'll do that after this. At the top, there's a blues, there's a, a, a poll. So I asked you guys to um, answer the poll. So we'll look at that. I forgot about it. So we'll, we'll do this after. Darn, I forgot my keys at work. 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 Yeah, okay. <laughs> at least a shiitake mushroom. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can do that. I, I think if you say, Shiitake mushroom, ah, they would, people would understand. <laughs> they think, oh, a little strange, but they would understand. Shoot, I left my umbrella on the bus. Darn, I left my umbrella on the bus. Dang it. I left my umbrella on the bus. Yes, Lolly, same. Darn. I left my umbrella on the bus. Yeah, so darn is a it's not offensive. So, like we said, like shoot, darn, dang it. Those are Safe words to use. <laughs> now, Alisa, now you're just being crazy. Sweet honey iced tea. <laughs> you, could, you could use anything, right? You can say anything. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Last one. Darn, I left my bicycle out in the rain. Toka, hello. Shoot, I left my bicycle out in the rain. Dang it, I left my bicycle out in the rain. I left my bicycle out in the rain. <laughs> Not a good idea. No. Okay. All right. That was on your own. Well done. Good job. Let's mark it off. Okay. Now it is quiz time. Quiz, quiz, quiz. So I will shuffle. Okay. okay I'm just looking over the quiz right now. Or I mean, looking at the chat right now. Okay. Good job, everyone. No problems. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sleep Park had a question. Um, when you are angry, you can say those words, yes. 
That's right. Like, darn, I forgot again, right? Darn, I made a mistake. Darn. Okay. Stop shuffling. Okay, here we go. It's quiz time. I'm going to take, I shuffled the cards. I'm going to take three, it, I'm going to take three cards and I'm going to cover the sentence, all right? So please write the sentence in the chat. Please write the sentence in the chat. So look at the picture and what is the sentence, okay? Here we go. Number one, quiz number one. Please write the sentence in the chat. Quiz number one. What is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. Please write the sentence in the chat. Toka, Moonlight Girl. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Did you change your name? As always, because I would, I would remember Toka Moonlight Girl. Did you change your name? Okay, number one, Sleepwalker is on the, is on the board. I left my report on the desk. Lolly says, I left my report on the desk. Okay, Fod. I left my report on the desk. Helga, I left my report on the desk. Helga, I left my report on the desk. Alice, I left my report on the desk. Tomas, I left my report on the desk. Mary, I left my report on the desk. Tetsuro, I left my report on the desk. Ava, I left my report on the desk. Miley, I left my report on the desk. Maria, I left my, I left my report on the desk. Good, pure, I left my report on the desk. <laughs> oh, no problem, Alisa. Okay, let's check, Marion. Okay, Marion, I left my report on the desk. Okay, you guys all got it, no problem. I left my report on the desk. Very good. Card number two. What is the sentence? Here we go. Please write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Hey, Alfana Day, how are you doing? Good job, Alfana Day. That's right. Jarish. Jay Shri, Jay Shri, good Jay Shri. Okay, what is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. And Sleepwalker is on the board. Did you leave the passports at home? My try. I left my report on the desk. Good. Soki, I forgot my passport there at home. Tomas. Did you leave the passports at home? Helga, did you leave the passports at home? Lolly, did you leave the passport at home? Fadaf, did you leave the passports at home? Asma, did you forget your passport at home? Marion, did you leave the passports at home? Miley, did you leave the passports at home? Okay, Radu, Tetsuro, Maria, Marcos, did you leave the passport at home? Okay, you guys, no problem. Let's take a look. Did you leave the passports at home? Oh, we're in trouble because we can't leave. We can't go on our trip. Okay, here we go. Card number three. What is the sentence, please? Card number three. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Yeah, Alpha Day. Did you leave the passport at home? Question, yeah, question. Sleepwalker. Okay, number three, Sleepwalker's on the board. 
I left my umbrella on the bus. Tomas, I left my umbrella on the bus. Lolly, I left my umbrella on the bus. Radu, I left my umbrella on the bus. Helga, Mary, Fada, Manome, Tetsuro, I left my umbrella on the bus. Miley, I left my umbrella on the bus. Marion, I left my umbrella on the bus. Okay, let's check it out. How did you do? And no problem, right? I left my umbrella on the bus. Okay, that was the quiz. Nice. Well done. You guys did it. Let's check it off. That was the quiz. We did the quiz. Okay, now we got one more activity to do. That is Lolly's Revenge. Yes, a conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. And there are four steps. Yes, step one. Okay, this is Lolly's Revenge. Yes, it is. And step one is the conversation. Step two is questions and answers. Step three, reading. And step four is shattering. So here we go. I have a conversation between Joe and Sue. Here it is right here. Please listen carefully because Step two, there is a quiz. Well, questions and answers. So I'm going to ask you questions about the conversation, and you're going to give me the answer, OK? So here we go. Joe is, this is Joe. Say hello to Joe. And this is Sue. Please say hello to Sue. Hello, Joe. Hello, Sue. Yes, and Ava has to go. Bye-bye, Ava. Thank you. Mwah. Have a nice day, Ava. Good luck. Have a good day. Here we go. Joe is first. Sue, have you seen my wallet? No. Where did you see it last? On the shelf next to the door. Are you sure? I never saw it there. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. Did you check your trousers? No, I'll go look. Any luck? I found it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time, shall we? One more time. Here we go. Sue, have you seen my wallet? No. Where did you see it last? On the shelf next to the door. Are you sure? I never saw it there. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. Did you check your trousers? No, I'll go look. Any luck? I found it. Oh, good. <laughs> Marcelo, hello. <laughs> Joe and Sue. Okay, Lolly says, last time, more slowly, please. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Last time, more slowly. Here we go. Last time, slowly. Sue, have you seen my umbrella? No. Where did you see it last? On the shelf next to the door. Are you sure? I never saw it there. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. Did you check your trousers? 
No, I'll go look. Any luck? I found it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why do people say umbrella? No. Have you seen my wallet? Huh? There's no umbrella here. Where where are you where are you getting umbrella from? What what, what what's everyone saying umbrella for? Does wallet and umbrella sound similar? I said umbrella. <laughs> really? Are you sure? I said umbrella. I guess it's from the stupid card, right? The quiz. Did we say the last was the bus on the, huh? No, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I said, everyone's saying I said umbrella. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, it's, it's wallet. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's wallet. I'm going to read it one more time. Okay. I'm going to read it one more time and I will not say umbrella. I will not say umbrella. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time, and I will not, I will not say umbrella. I promise. <laughs> You're right, Marcos. Here we go. <laughs> Sue, have you seen my wallet? No, where did you see it last? On the shelf next to the door. Are you sure? I never saw it there. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. Did you check your trousers? No, I'll go look. Any luck? I found it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Okay, there we go. That was the conversation. <laughs> See, I thought you guys were crazy. I thought, I thought you guys like, why are you saying umbrella? That's what I was thinking. Why did you say umbrella? But actually, I'm the one who said umbrella. See? See? You think everyone's crazy, but actually, you're the crazy one, right? I thought you guys were crazy, but actually, I'm the crazy one. <laughs> Isn't that, that's how it always is, right? That's the way it is. You think other people are strange. You think other people are wrong, but actually it's yourself, right? That's how it usually is. Okay, it is question time. Question time. Here we go. Question number one. What is Joe looking for? <laughs> The umbrella was in Joe's trousers. That a very small umbrella. Like like Marcos, like a cocktail umbrella, right? Like like umbrella in a cocktail. Let me let me show you a picture of an umbrella in a cocktail. A cocktail umbrella. I'm gonna show you a picture. Hold on, hold on. My here it is. I'm gonna show you a picture. A picture of a cocktail umbrella. Huh? One more time. A cocktail umbrella. Here they are. Little umbrellas for your pocket. I mean, Here's one. Oh, we got a picture right here. Yeah. Right here. So, little umbrellas for your cocktails. <laughs> a 
little umbrellas for your cocktails. Those look good, huh? Let's have a cocktail. Let's have a cocktail with a little umbrella. Say little umbrellas for your cocktails. <laughs> All right, so what is Joe looking for? Yeah, his wallet. Okay, good job. Yes, Hawaiian cocktail. That's right, Tomas. Maria, you guys got it. That's right. Joe is looking for his wallet. Very good. Okay, here we go. Question number two. Number two. Where did Joe say he put his wallet? Where did Joe say he put his wallet? Where did Joe say he put his wallet? Question number two. Yes, Jay Shree. Joe's looking for his wallet. That's right. Okay, Sleepwalker, you got it. On the shelf next to the door. Lolly, on the shelf next to the door. Good. Alisa, he thought he left it on the shelf next to the door. Very good. Yep, you guys got it. Very good, Helga. Yes. Good, everyone. So, number two, where did Joe say he put his wallet? He said he put it on the shelf next to the door. Yes, very good. Okay, question number three. Number three. What was Sue's suggestion? What was Sue's suggestion? Question number three. Yes, Marcos, on the shelf next to the door. Very good. Question number three. What was Sue's suggestion? Marion, Joe thinks he saw the wallet on the shelf by the door. Good. Okay, Sleepwalker's on the board with number three. Check his trousers. That's right, Lolly. Check his trousers. Alisa, Sue suggests Joe check his trousers. That's right, Lolly, trouser. Trousers, so because of two legs, yeah, trousers. So we, we put trousers in plural, right? Because each leg, right? Tomas, she suggested to look in his trousers. So look in your trousers. Yeah, Marcos, she was like, did you check your trousers? Perfect. Perfect, Marcos. That's exactly, that is super, that's exactly what we would say. Like, did you check your trousers? Like, um, do this. Hey, where are my glasses? Where, I can't, I can't find my glasses. Where are my glasses? Have you seen my glasses? Where are my glasses? Have you checked your head? Oh, they're on my head. <laughs> they're on my head. Yes, yes, in the trousers, that's right. To check or to look, that's right, that's right, Tomas. Check your trousers, look in your trousers, that's right. Okay, number four, here we go, number four. Did Joe have any luck? Not watch. No, 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 not watch, Tomas. Like we watch something that moves, right? Trousers are just there. So we say, um, look in your trousers. So watch, watch birds, watch a movie, Tomas. Like something is moving, we watch. But um, look is just like, like a picture, look at a picture, um, Look, look at, look at my, oh, look at my new, look at my picture here. Oh, look at my new cup. Okay, did Joe have any luck? Sleepwalker, Joe found his wallet. Yes, good Lolly. Yes, he found it. Very good answer, Lolly. Yes, he found it. Okay, Alice. Yes, he found it. Very good. Tetsuo, he found it. Very good, everyone. Yes. 
Did he have any luck? Yes, he did. He had good luck. He found it. He had luck because he found it. Yeah, you don't want to lose your wallet. That's not fun. That's not good because your driver's license is in there and you got money in there and you got maybe your some credit cards in there. So if you lose your wallet, it's a big pain because you have to get all that replaced and call your credit card company, tell them, oh, I lost my wallet, cancel my credit cards, please. So it's a big, big hassle. So please don't forget your, don't lose your wallet. Please don't lose your wallet. Okay, that was the questions. Very good, everyone. Now it's reading time. Let's, let's read the conversation together, all right? So I'm gonna hold the conversation up to the camera for us to look together. Oh, oh uh, before I do that, I wanna look at the, at the, at the um, poll first. Radu I, says, I once lost my wallet and it had about $100 in it. Well, they say like, like the, what's worse than losing the money is like going through all the hassle of like your driver's license, credit cards, social security card, medical card, right? Many things in your wallet that you have to replace. So it's not just money, it's everything. Yeah, the documents in the wallet. That's the, that's the worst part. Okay, let's open the, in the poll. Okay, so at the top, in the blue box, we have 167 people voted. Thank you very much for doing that. And uh, I want you to finish this sentence. I once forgot my, and here are the four choices, I once forgot my key. So, so that means I once forgot it happened to you before, right? I once forgot my, that means it happened to you before. It happened to you before. I once forgot my keys. That was the most popular um, sentence. So 43% of the people said, I once forgot my keys. Then, I once forgot my wallet. 20% said that. And that is that was the third most popular. I once forgot my face mask. That was 30%. So that was the second most. And then I once forgot my eyeglasses. Only 7%. So one more time. So number one sentence was, I once forgot my keys. Then number two, I once forgot my face mask. Then the third most popular, I once forgot my wallet. And the fourth, I once forgot my eyeglasses. So thank you for sharing that. And I, I figured that. I thought that would, I thought keys would be the most popular. So, or the most, the most, um, what, what's the word? Um, I think I thought, oh, maybe most people that happened to most people, right? So that that was the most typ typical thing for someone to forget, right? So, oh, I forgot my keys, right? So that's probably happened to many people. And then face masks, right? So I sometimes do that and I like jump out of my car, I'm walking to the market. Ah, I forgot my face mask. I have to go back to the car and get it, right? So I think that happens to many people, right? Like you're driving somewhere and you're not wearing your face mask and then you stop and you get out of your car and you forget to take your face mask. So you have to, ah, I have to go back and get it, right? And then um, eyeglasses, I thought more people would forget their eyeglasses, but I guess not because if you can't see, then you're not going to forget your glasses, right? And then um, wallet, that's a terrible thing to forget. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. Thank you for doing that. So let's do the reading. So I will hold the conversation up to the camera. Oh, wait, first a couple people commented. Um, yeah, Tomas says, you can borrow money, but, but can't, but not documents. That's right. So, Tomas, you can borrow money, but not documents. 
That is so true, Tomas. You can, you can borrow money, but you can't borrow documents. Maya! Maya! Mwah. Thank you so much, Maya. Mwah. Thank you. You're always kind to me, Maya. Thank you for your kind support. Maya, Maya, Maya. Mwah. Thank you so much. I really always appreciate your kind support, Maya. I love you, Maya. Mwah. Thank you so much. Mary says, I once forgot my keys. Radu says, I once thought I had forgotten my mask, but it was actually in my pocket. That's good, Radu. Oh, sweet Lana, how you doing? Mwah, sweet Lana's here. Today I forgot my face mask. Uh-oh, so you have to go back and get it. Maya, mwah, thank you again, again. Thank you so much, always. Okay, let's look at it. Let's read it together, shall we? Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Alisa says, I once forgot where I left my son. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, no. Radu says, um, did you forget your face mask? So what happens, is like, a, a few times, right? I get out of the car. I'm driving for a long time. I'm going to my university, and it's hot outside in the summer. And I get out. I get my bag, and I start walking to the campus and then all of a sudden I see people with face masks and I'm thinking oh I forgot then I have to run back to my car and get it so that it happens to me okay here we go Sue have you seen my wallet no where did you see it last on the shelf next to the door are you sure I never saw it there I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. Did you check your trousers? No, I'll go look. Any luck? I found it. Oh, good. Okay, let's look at it one more time. Sue, have you seen my wallet? No, where did you see it last? On the shelf next to the door. Are you sure? I never saw it there. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. Did you check your trousers? No, I'll go look. Any luck? I found it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Ah, okay, Alfana asked, Did I, have I forgotten my mobile phone? Actually, yes, and I'm happy. <laughs> A few times, right, I, I left it at home and and it's like, oh, okay, so I go somewhere without my mobile phone, and, I, and it's kind of nice. <laughs> I don't mind forgetting my phone. That's okay. I don't mind forgetting my phone, but not my wallet. That's not good. Okay, good job. So we, we, we read it together. So let's check that off. Now let's shadow. Let's Say the sentences together, okay? Let's do it together. Oh, Liverpool's here. Okay, England, how are you doing? Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Um, England is in the house. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you so much. Radu says, it happens many, okay, I have many friends who forgot their face mask, so it's come and forget, mace, I suppose. Yeah, because we're not used to it, right? Or I don't know, it, it's easy to forget, I guess. So you should always have extra in a bag or in your car, right? So, you know, you should always carry extra with you in case you forget or it breaks. Sometimes, sometimes the strap breaks, and so you need to have extra. Hello. Okay, we are shadowing the conversation. Let's do it, shall we? Let's, yeah, Alfana, I saw you. Thank you for being Alfana. Okay, here we go. Let's count down to shadowing. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Sue, have you seen my wallet? Sue, have you seen my wallet? Sue, have you seen my wallet? No, where did you see it last? No, where did you see it last? No, where did you see it last? On the shelf next to the door. On the shelf next to the door. On the shelf next to the door. Are you sure? I never saw it there. Are you sure? I never saw it there. Are you sure? I never saw it there. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. I thought I left it there before I went on my walk. Did you check your trousers? Did you check your trousers? Did you check your trousers? No, I'll go look. No, I'll go look. No, I'll go look. Any luck? Any luck? Any luck? I found it. I found it. I found it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, good. Um, Ame Dio Life. Ame Dio Life. Welcome to my channel. I'm here every Tuesday, every Friday, most Saturdays. Okay, so I'm here and please come. Actually, I upload videos every day, so come check out my, my, um, channel every day okay welcome welcome okay let's have a look at the conversation one more time here we go sue have you seen my wallet no where did you see it last on the shelf next to the door are you sure i never saw it there i thought i left it there before i went on my walk did you check your trousers no, I'll go look. Any luck? I found it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, Joe found it. Hooray. Sleepwalker says, hooray, he found it. You're welcome, Jay Sharif. Okay, well, that was the shadowing part. We did it. Yeah, everyone, good job. Well done. Congratulations. Um, actually, Friday, I'm not going to be here, okay? So I'm not going to, I'm on summer break right now, so I'm not going to be here on Friday and Saturday. So August 13th and 14th, no live stream, okay? Sorry about that. So August 13th and August 14th, I'm, I'm Japan, right? So this is Japan. So, no, no live stream. Ah, ah. Okay, but I will be back next Tuesday. So, on the, today's the 10th, right? So, the 17th, I will be back. So, yes, Sleepwalker, next Tuesday, I will be here Next Tuesday, I will not be here on Friday or Saturday, okay? But Tuesday, so 17th, yes. 17th is a big yes, I will be here. So on the 17th, I will be here. So August 17th, yes. 13th, 14th, no. Okay, so August 17th, I will be here. So that's a big next Tuesday, I will be here. Next Tuesday, I will be here. Next Tuesday, I will be here. Manome, yes. 13th and 14th, no, 
no live stream. But I will be uploading videos though, but I will not be live. Okay, so, so please come back August 17th, okay? Yes, August 17th, yes. 13th and 14th, no. 13th and 14th, no. <laughs> so, yes, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, thanks everyone. I really appreciate, yeah, Tetsuo, you know, that's Japanese style, yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you everyone for your kind, kind support. And Candy, welcome to the green team. Yes, Candy, welcome, yes. And Maya, thank you so much for your kind support. Mwah. Thank you so much, Maya. I really, really appreciate it. And um, one more time, Candy, welcome. Thank you for joining, Candy. Okay, well, um, sweet Lana, thank you. Thank you. All right, yes, Mary. Thank you, Maria, Marcos, thank you, Radu, Tetsuro, everyone, Alisa, Maya. Thank you, Maya. I really, really appreciate your kind support. I will see you next Tuesday, Maya. Thank you, thank you. Lolly, thank you so much. Okay. You're very, very welcome. Everyone, thank you so much. Well, let's say... Thank you, thank you, Manome, Jay Shri, thank you. Okay, let's say goodbye. Candy, thank you for joining today. Thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you, Candy, for your kind, kind support. I really, really appreciate it. And welcome, Candy, to the green team. Yes, your name is in green now. Congratulations. Okay, let's say goodbye together. Hey, Devender, you're late. Oh, no, Devender, we are just now leaving and you're coming. We're going and you're coming. Oh no, Devender. Devender, um, 13th and 14th, I will not be here. Next Tuesday, I will be here, okay? So on the 17th, we will have a live stream class, but on the 13th and 14th, no live stream, okay, Devender? Okay. All right, let's say goodbye together. Yeah, so right now, it's, I'm in Japan, Alf Alfana. Yes, Alfana, I'm in Japan. So this is, I'm talking Japan time. So this next Tuesday at 5 p.m. right here. This, is a, this isn't going to be Tuesday. This is Tuesday, 5 p.m. Japan time, Japan. Okay, so we're talking Japan time. I live in Japan. Oh, Devender, you're busy, busy, busy. Well, that's good. That's good. It's good to be busy, right, Devender? That means you're working, making money. So that's good. That's good. It's good to be busy. Okay, let's say goodbye together. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Let's say goodbye. Let's count down and say goodbye. And I will see you next week, Tuesday, 5 p.m. Okay? Let's count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a great week. Um, be careful, be kind, and um, I will see you next week. Okay, thanks so much. Bye bye. <laughs>